I do not know. I don't know what your kit, what that setup is. Live from Spokane. <laughs> hey, oh, we're gonna we have lights up either. Oh no! Our faces will be dark. Well, no, we're gonna need lights for this. Mm. So you might get a bad glare though. On, oh, okay, on good. So point. I think this might be okay. Okay. All right, guys. So as everyone is joining, um, uh, welcome. This is a live video. So for those of you who are not watching it currently live, it would say live on there. This was recorded live. Um, that's why we're answering questions. We will try to capture the questions for you. But today we are um, going to be doing the reveal on Fun Stamper's Journey. Yay. 2017-18. So before I get started and we go on this, I will let you guys know... Um, Sean's watching comments. Way over here, so I so, look yeah. like this, so don't... Yeah, but once it goes down onto the catalog, it won't be much, but uh, you won't see that. But um, let me just explain to you guys, uh, Fun Stampers Journey, I joined about a year and a half ago, almost two years now, and I fell in love with their mediums. So their uh, silks, their uh, color sprays, all that stuff, and then I realized they were red rubber mounted stamps, so then I fell in love with them even more. And this will be the second complete catalog that I've been part of, and I'm pretty excited about it. So we're going to just reveal the catalog, show you mostly the new stuff. I'm not going to really dive deep into the old stuff, but I did want to explain a few things. In my catalog, you might see at times I've crossed off an image, and there might be a number for that. The reason for that is I do have our storage. Um, this is what I store the Fun Stampers Journey stamps in. I go by the catalog that they've suggested, so... I used uh, my brother, P. Touch and Bella, says like holiday Easter, then it goes like this. And so they go into a little pouch like this. But um, the reason for that is on the front, I have each of my little things numbered. So you'll see here, this one says one. So in the catalog, if something's circled with the letter, number one, I know that in the catalog, it's in one. So when I create a project, I'm not searching for it. Well, so that's yeah. all it is for. It means I have those. So sorry. Um, down below in the description, I've given you guys a ton of links. The most important is the digital catalog. So if you want to just listen and follow along with me, that's great. You can click on the digital catalog. It will take you there so you can see everything on a better screen than maybe live. I've also given you all the links on if you want to become a coach. We'll talk about that. About the uh, hosting a party, which we'll talk about. We'll talk about the new specials. And if you want a catalog, there is all those links down below. Down below. And I know that this one might not be a lot of live viewers, which is fine. If you have questions later, please feel free to ask me on social media or my email and stuff. So further ado, we will get started. I haven't been watching, so hello to everyone that's joined and said hello. I'm not ignoring you. I apologize. I just want to get that stuff out of the way. Um, Sean has to adjust the camera, so there is so going to be some... A little shaky, a little shaky. shaky. So look away from the screen if you don't like it. We're going to tilt one way, and then the camera will tilt another way again. Rotate device, it says. I think you have to physically rotate the device. There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys, for seasick. Maybe I'll cut this up for okay. future editions. All right. So, so now we can just go up a little bit. Up a little bit. Is that backwards? It is, but that's okay. I'll have to just. Oh, that's because it never flipped like it's supposed to. Well, it's fine. I'll just do it upside down. Okay. So this is, once Sean has everything adjusted here, perfect. Oh, I'm trying to get it centered because you have this so wibbly wobbly there. Okay, there we go. It's live, guys. I'm telling you what, for you that are watching later, this is a live recording. So Sean is going to make sure to ask questions if they do come up. So that way, if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask questions. Sean will ask a question monetarily, stop me, and stuff. So this is the cover. Absolutely beautiful cover. I'm obsessed with this cover. And the, um, you're already asking yourself these things here. So this, 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 this was all made with a new die, which we're going to talk about here in a second. So for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Fun Samper's Journey was started by uh, two people, one of them being, which most people know, Richard Garay. And he's the one that uh, you see his wife and kiddos here. Um, so it's He's very involved. It's a very great community. It's awesome because if you actually PM you, he PMs you back. It's pretty amazing. The catalog itself has kind of a, a, a basically, a, a, what is this, a key to follow, which we won't go into too much there. Um, but let's talk about um, the journey. So if you are 
You know what we should have done is we should have done it at a tilt because I have that thing that tilts it up. Mm. Maybe I'll go grab that. You should grab it. Un momento, por favor. Un momento. So you have to talk to people now. Well, I don't know what I even did to say because I'm just here doing the questions. That's all I do. What are you here for? Just to read the questions and oh. say hello. <laughs> yes. Since that's what I like to do a lot. Well, I don't know where that thing is, so maybe we won't do that. You don't know where that's in? No, I thought I did, but... Oh, the joys of live. Oh, yes. Not ready as we thought, because we didn't expect it to be like that. So as we try to find that, um, any brief questions? Anything? I can answer. I think I can answer. I'm not sure. I'm here for you. Oh, let's see. I think at least do this, maybe. <laughs> yes. Well, sadly, I don't know where my glare shield thingy is. So, Linda, yes, George did uh, did join under Ken. What? Said yes, George did come under Ken. Yes. Yes. All right. So, if you don't like the glare, the digital catalog's down there. I'm sorry. I thought I had I'm my. Hold it up too. Well, no, it's just gonna be flimsy. Then it's not a good shot. So, I'll show them once we get closer. But so. The way to join is basically, you can join under kits. There's going to be three different kits. There's going to be, um, uh, there's going to be a $49 kit, which is basically a designer. These are for people who are not really doing the business. They just want to get the discount and design. There's going to be a $99 kit and then $199, which is, comes with a machine. Now, it is very important. In July, if you are interested in joining, reach out to me. I have a link down below for something that you can fill out because in July, you get double the amount of stamp sets. So for example, this one here, trying to get that glare as much off as possible. This one here, you would normally get these stamp sets. You get double the amount, which is a huge advantage, definitely. So basically, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but if you want to join, make sure to reach out to me. Um, so we also have uh, parties. You can make a party and basically get rewards. I'll show up close to the rewards. I've also given you a link down below, but the rewards are very gracious. So if you have a party for, let's say $300, you get $45 free product plus four ATSs. An ATS is an artist trading stamp. These are going to be uh, your stamps that are uh, like, for example, this stamp right here, this little bear stamp is an ATS. So it will usually start with the AT and you will get four of those. So as you can imagine, the host rewards, especially once you get up to $400, $60, uh, are pretty uh, epic. But this year they've actually made it a little bit better. And this is what I'm really excited about. So I've had a lot of people who've hosted a party and they have gotten some pretty amazing deals. And now they're going to get even more because now we have basically what I call progressive. As your party gets bigger, your rewards get bigger as well. So as you, these are exclusive. You have to get them as a host party. And so basically, if you look at this, this is pretty cool. This one here is for parties totaling 150 more. You would get this uh, die set that's only 495. There's some other dies down here that are normally, you know, 10, 11 bucks that you would get for five bucks. This one is what I'm excited about. This here is a hexagon pierced piece. For those of you who are familiar with Fun Stamper's Journey, they have a lot of shape dies, and the shape dies. Uh, come with just a regular die and then they also come with called pierces which put little pierces into your card the only way to get the pierce die is having a party of 300 or more the die is normally $22 you get it for 10 bucks but you get $600 or more this is where these come into play so these here are what you see on the front so these are all dies so this one, $600 or more, you would get this whole die set for $10.95. So I'm really excited about this because they're progressive on the host rewards. And those are exclusive. You, you have to be get that for being a host. Uh, Bloom benefits, what are they? So the great thing about Fun Stamper's Journey is you get rewarded for every $50 you spend. But this year, they've added more categories. So there's a $75 and $100. So for every $50, you can pick one of these. There's uh, some stars. There's Bloom Fetty. There's Sweet Clips. 
Um, and then if you have $75 or more, you get one of these, which are really cute artist trading stamps. So for a reference, an artist trading stamp usually is about this size, like this. And they usually come with multiple stamps, so you get a few stamps in there. Uh, so they're a smaller but still very useful die for card making. If you have a $100 party or more, you have Victorian accent here, which is, um, let's see here, if you can see that, you have washi tape, and then there's these embossing folders. So these are $100 or more, you're going to get those embossing folders for free. So pretty cool changes there. But now let's get what to everyone is wanting to see is the new stuff. Once again, you can follow along in the digital catalog, which I've given you guys down below. So if you click on that link, you can follow along. This is probably one of my favorite new lines. This is called Mystic Romance. And really, this was inspired. Let me see if I can see the photo. It's somewhere in here, I thought. Uh, you guys might have seen Richard Gray in some of his photos wearing this shirt that has these hearts. See that right there? Well, those hearts, or roses, not hearts, were embroidered onto a shirt. So, these stamps are going to give you that look. They're going to give you an embroidered look. And if you can see there, there's the first set in there. They have kind of this stitching look to them. A couple reasons I like this. Number one is it gives you an, a pretty amazing look. You can see right here. Pretty cool. But it also kind of gives you a cheat guide of where to shade. The darker, the more lines, that means obviously the more shading you'll need. The lighter lines, less shading. So there's some pretty cool sets. This Usually these collections are only available for the year that the catalog comes out. So you have this set here, which has the hummingbirds and flowers. Over here, you have some pretty amazing um, just sentiments that look like they're stitched. Then down here, you have your artist trading stamps. You have some more flowers, a leaf with a snail. That's a fern. Fern, gully. This here is awesome. Look at that butterfly. I love that set. That butterfly, you got a couple butterflies, you get some flowers. Now, anytime you see outline in green in Fun Stamper Journey catalog, Sean, what does that mean? Do you know? It means it has a cutting die to go around. Oh, I'm so proud. Look at you. You're so crafty. Yes, that means it has a cutting die that goes with it. Now, usually our collections like this do come with more stuff. So we have here... Uh, these are fashion silver, so these are going to be embellishments that stick. We also have them in gold. There's another mystic fern die here. And then there is a mystic impression embossing folder, which is right there. Trying to get as close as I can to the camera. There's a big thing in the way, though. Also with this, um, they are releasing some papers. So these papers, I'll just turn upside down since we can do that with the papers. Um, our papers are pretty uh, good papers. They're double-sided, which are great colors. Uh, I'm not wild about that set. This is just me personally, but it does go well with this collection. Um, but I think that uh, the embroidered look, so if we get up really close to this, you'll see that embroidered look in there. So that's what this whole line is about, um, is this embroidered look. But these next few pages are where it really comes alive for me. So I love the rose set. I'll try to get these. I'll do them a little bit upside down. So the rose set here, which has the thorns. You have roses, everything. You also have this peacock set. I love that. Look at that. Imagine how fun that would be to color. Oh, but this I'm super excited about. Look at that koi set. You have a koi with, um, what are those flowers called? That put they put in like ponds and stuff lilies lilies really bad type yeah flowers. and then look at this flower set you have so you have that flower sweet puppy and leaf and it's just look at this right here here's an example of someone yeah, water, lily. water lily thank you look at that absolutely amazing i am obsessed with this set usually when sets come out i'm not in love with the entire set but this is one of the exceptions look at this one this has uh, right here. Look at that. That um, that tiger, the uh, branch, the feather. Over here we have, what kind of, what is that? Is that a, What's that? that, is that a goose? It is a swan. That's a swan? Mm -hmm. Swan. Who are you looking at, swan? What's that from? 
That is from. Now you now I mean Adam Sandler movie, I forget. Schwan. Someone's gonna have to tell me. I completely forgot. What is it? Billy Madison. Thank you. Um, alright guys. Totally off track. I know, I'm sorry. So that is the first collection. I'm obsessed with it. It is called, just so you guys remember, Mystic uh Romance. All of these collections will be available July 1st. You can go to my shopping link down below or you are able to reach out to me and place an order or start a party. The next one is called Project Me. And at first, I didn't think I was going to like this set. I'm going to be honest. But then the more I've seen it, I just, I'm going to show you one stamp of sneak preview. I'm obsessed and it's going to be a lot of fun to color. So this is Project Me. The first thing we'll share is the ATS stamp. So that is right here. It's called uh, Share Your Story. Look at this stamp. This is a background stamp. So cameras. I don't know if you guys know this, but cameras are trending this year. So they are right on with this. Um, this, I know it's upside down, but it's just a stamp uh, set that, you know, just smile and say cheese. And what I like about this is this is old school cameras. These are, you know, everyone's using their iPhones, which I get it but it's kind of fun to have the old school cameras. These are actually dies. These dies are amazing. So right here you have a die uh, that basically is a film strip. So they're mimicking a film strip. So you have a heart here and then you have a circle. So this would be a lot of fun on cards. Do you cards. know the different types of cameras that are sitting there? I do not know the different type of camera, Sean. Polaroid, Insomatic, Brownie, and of course DLSR. You're just such, you're so smart. Thank you. All right, guys, here is some elements that you can use. Um, we have the foiled frames, which are fun. You actually have camera wallet. That's a wallet camera. I'm not even kidding you. This set is going to be so much fun to color. This set is called Too Cute. It's got three little girls doing their poses. Selfie love, too cute. You're a sight for sore eyes. Um, now, always don't forget that even though that these inspiration guides are normally, or books are $12.95, and they do have all of our product, don't get me wrong, which is great. They give you a ton of different ideas on how to use this product. And it always lines up with what's on the page. So for example, if we were to go back to that Mystic Romance, um, you have your, all of your collection is right there in those projects. So for me, even though yes, it is a catalog and people are always talking a catalog, for me, it's a great way. There's 200 plus projects in here. All right. So over here we have sentiment. So you have remember today. Um, once again, remember green means you can get a die. You can either buy the stamp set by itself, you can buy the dies by themselves, or you can get a bundle, which is cheaper. You want to do the bundle if you're going to do that. Um, over here, just some more some sentiments. Express yourself. Dream big. Be you. Be kind. You know, just a lot of fun in this set. I love the paper in this set. Look at this paper, Sean. Super bright, yeah. fun, tons of colors. Look at that. Look at all of this. All those cameras, great colors. So this is a very, in my opinion, a very fun, uh, hip. Look at this project down here. This project is amazing. They didn't even color in those girls. They just left them black and white, but it's just a fun set. Over here, we're gonna show you, we have another die. So this is another film uh, capture die. You have another ATS here with a, this. You have a nice sentiment. And down here we have some embellishments. So you have Project Me clips, which are right there. Remember Me clips, and then snap corks that you can just add onto. Over here we have snapshot sentiments. So these are dies. These are things you could potentially... Sorry, I'm doing them upside down, but this way you guys get a good idea of it. So dies that you can add to your project. This is a photo tag die. This is a pretty big die. And it's going to make that right there. So you'll see a project right here. That die will create this right here for you. We also have some more dies over here. Some dies. You have some snap accents to just put on your cards. And then you have a little film wheel just to add two elements. So this collection is a lot of fun. It's all about uh, young, you know, selfies. Selfies are hot. All right, so we're getting into the main catalog. These are all the categories. I'm not going to go over every stamps. I'm just going to show you which ones I like. I am going to show you the new ones in each category. How I break up my uh, storage bins. So I showed you my storage bins here. 
um, is I always follow these categories. So I go holiday, put all my stamps. Once again, you're going to see a lot of crossed off things with numbers, and I'll explain that again once we get there. Um, so we'll just review the new stamps and highlight some of my favorites. So we'll start with New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve, this here, these are Midnight Kisses. They are called Midnight Kisses because they go on the bottom of kisses. Pretty easy. So that's a new one for uh, January. And then I love this set. This set is for Valentine's Day. I know it's upside down, I apologize, but it's a chemistry set. And uh, you are a perfect little arrangement of atoms. I love that sentiment. I love you the way that they did it with looking you light up my world, the little chemistry beaker set. I love, love, love this set. So this is the new one for uh, Valentine's Day. This one we had last year, um, same with these. So we have some, for those of you who are Irish, we have some uh, great St. Patrick's Day ones. And what's great once again is all of the ideas you get. You just get a ton of ideas. We have our Easter, so Easter. Um, so this is more of the religious Easter, and then you will go into the actual uh, Easter bunnies and Easter set. So here's the first example of what I was talking about. So that one means I have that set, and it's in my storage bin one, so that way I can quickly find it. Same with this one, that's the one I first showed you, the ATS. So that's kind of how I keep track of what stamps I have, and then of course, where I can quickly find them. We have Cinco de Mayo, so uh, the only new one here is this guy, which is pretty fun. He's a Fiesta Clips with your cactus, the piñata. It's a lot of fun there. Light a bright color, Sean. And a taco. And a taco, yes. Uh, this one is new for 4th of July, so uh, obviously this will launch July 1st, so this will probably be ready for the next year. Um, but I love this. So this is a firework set that you can see down here that they used with uh, embossing powder, but you're going to be able to layer these and get a different look to it. So look at that embossing there with silver embossing powder. Just awesome. We've already had these before, so these are not new, but um, I love the soldier set. Um, our hero, you have the soldier with, uh, thank you for being a hero. Oh my gosh. This one, Sean, I'm obsessed with. Okay, let's just look at this one for a sec, because this... I cannot wait to get. This is called Party Ghosts. I know, I have to do it upside down. I'm sorry, that kickstand is just in the way. So Party Ghosts are little ghosts, okay? And they come with cute sentiments. So you have, on this, you have all these ghosts doing different things. So for example, you have this ghost right here. He's got a balloon. This one's got a little... Um, party favor. Party favor. You have one cleaning. And they're really cute. I scream. So there's ice cream and there's one eating ice cream. Trick or treat. Let's party. If you got it, haunt it. I'm here for the booze. B-O-O-S. I just think this is a great set. It's very cartoony, but it's very cute in my opinion. Cannot wait to get this set. You're going to be able to do all sorts of stuff with this because they're very small. You get a lot of stamps and there's a lot of different occasions you can use it for. Um, these are old uh, uh, artist trading stamps that I already have. Um, once again, some more Halloween that we've already had in the past. Halloween's one of my favorite holidays, so I have a lot of the Halloween. Um, the new Thanksgiving one this year is just absolutely stunning. It's a wreath, so you have the fall, autumn, harvest, gather, thanks with this beautiful wreath. You got leaves here, so an idea of what that stamp set can do is right there. Look at that, just stunning. Um, this is one of my favorites from last year. I already bought that. I love this leaf. You have the leaf background, some more artist trading stamps. Did you make some of our... Um... I did. I made our... I think I might actually have one. I'll show you real quick. But this also has a retired one in it. Let's see if I can quickly find it. Quickly being the operative word. Um, maybe... I, oh, here it is. So... This was using Fun Stamper Journey product. This was a Richard uh, Gray design that I completely scrap lifted off Pinterest, but lots of fun. So Christmas, the new Christmas ones. Now, I will be debuting in shortly, probably within the next few weeks, our inspiration book for the holidays, and I've already seen it 
amazing stuff cannot wait but they do add a few new things in here so you have this here which is the sparkle trim and look at that look at what that will produce very cool it's so cool um i don't have this one yet but i'm gonna be getting it this is a great background stamp for you guys of course we have a uh, more religious themed christmas none of these are new we've had these before we have just a lot of the birds, reindeers, all that stuff. Um, and then some of the favorites, like this one's one of our oldest artist trading stamps, but it's always a huge hit, that reindeer. So these snowflakes are I'm going to be getting, even though they're an older stamp, very useful. You can use it on a ton of stuff. And just remember, look at all of the ideas you're getting in here. All right, blooms. Blooms is one category I have barely anything in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I don't do flowers a lot. I need to because I know they're popular. Um, I do love the new set though. It's called Flower Swirls and here it is right here. And it's just a fun set. That's gonna be fun to color, layer. It's just a great set. Um, so that's the new one in Bloom's category. We of course are bringing back a lot of the other favorites. This one here is called Peony Blooms. I'll be getting this one just because peonies was my mom's favorite flower. And for those of you who follow me, you know that she passed away. And it's also the flower that is on my tattoo, is peonies. And we love peonies. I wish they lasted longer, but... Um, we also have Dear Rose as a new set. So right there. And look at that. That's just... just All it is is black ink on our pink cardstock. Amazing. Um, and then returning favorites. We have a lot of returning favorites. This here is Peach Blossom. It's huge lot uh i don't have any you'll notice barely any excess i think that's the only one i have is the dahlia burst one of sean's favorite flowers the dahlias oh all right so our next category of new items oh this is something i forgot to mention in the catalog that's fun this year is rj pick five so essentially what he's doing is pick five different products and making a project so this one he's picking a stamp he has our color splash pigment ink ribbon and then basically the uh white uh, uh, embossing powder and it creates this card. So once again, this is more than just a catalog. This is giving you tons of inspiration. Nature is another category I don't have a lot in, um, but the new ones this year are these trees. So you have trees, evergreen trees, which are look like our backyard, and then something we never see, which is cacti. Uh, so those are the new ones there. All of these are ones that have uh, been before. So once again, if you want to see some of these that uh, uh, I'm skipping past, you can look at the catalog. These are all just kind of old uh, from the last year's catalog. I'm just looking at new stuff. I'm obsessed with this one. So this is Adventure, and this is called No Problem Llama. And I, <laughs> it's so funny. So you have a llama, and then you have, of course, the glasses. You have a little hat to put it on, a scarf. You have the winter hat. So it's a fun little way. Save the dream for your yama. Let's go away. Alpaca bag. <laughs> I love puns like this. Lots of love. Como se llama? <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. All right. <laughs> this here is Dude Ranch. So obviously cowboy style. Um, so those are the two new adventure ones, which I really like. Uh, and then these are returning favorites. And then um, childhood. So these are childhood. Uh, and the new ones there is this one here, Kids Dream, which is a very sweet, pretty set. All about kids dreaming. Follow your dreams, shine like stars. Um, and then you also get the Date Me set as a new one. So this one here is all about your new bundle of joy. You have all of your years, born, weeks, months, ounces, pounds, and basically as you're sending out cards to people, you can decorate it with all the information. So definitely going to be a very cool set. People are going to be very into that. Um, another new one this year is Joy Bundle, or Joy, uh, yeah, Joy Bundle, which has the stork, boy, hello, girl, very cute set. You also have baby prints down here. And then the rest of these should be things that we've already had in past catalogs.
And this should lead us into, I believe, our dude category. Once again, there's another great project. Oh, someone just asked, yes. So if it's crossed out, that means I own it. And it's also the number here tells me which of my storage bins it's in. I did this before I decided to do this live video. So I, I knew that would cause some... Oh, I'm obsessed with this one. This one's Occasions. And I love this set. So... Animal it's animal crackers look at that that's such a cool set so that's a must that I'll be getting another must I'm getting which I love are these party animals so you have the animal heads and then party animal happy birthday have a wild time no lion you're the best I really like this set <coughs> and then there's a new ATS set here which is happy birthday but the happy also goes diagonal which I really like so I'm really excited about this category. I do like more of the cutesy stamps. It's kind of my style. So um, I, I'm pretty excited for this set. Um, I got this one. This was last year, and I love the set. It's interactive. You can make a little uh, a dial on here and spin it. So it's an interactive card, and I you love did interactive that for cards. For your brother? I did it for my brother, and I might actually have one here. Yeah. So here's another one here. So where. People can then, oh, it's your birthday. So it's a really fun set. I love it. Um, so it's a must. I'm glad it came back this year because to me it was one of their best ones from last year. We have one of the biggest catalogs on the market. So um, there's a lot of stuff. Dude. Dude. So dude this year has the man. What's cool about this set is, is of course, it's a stamp set. But it has the spots in it to where you can actually pin the guy a little together by using brads or something of that sort. So, um, kind of fun. And then also there is this one, Party, which is a golf themed. I'm not a golfer, but for um, a lot of stampers, their husbands, grandfathers, dads are golfers. So that's a great set to have. Yeah, it looks like my bike. It did look like your bike. Inspiration. So inspiration, this one's fun. Look at that. Very curly letters. Um, hello, love. Let your light shine. Hello, love. This is great because there is another stamp set that has light bulbs that could be interchanged with this. So that's a great one to have. Um, so And then dandelion wishes. This one will just be super fun to uh, emboss with, I think. To do white embossing powder, kind of like, oh, right there. They did white embossing powder there. So that's the other new one there. We have another new one here called Chosen Family. So this one's got some blooms, but then it's got some really sweet sentiments. Together is my favorite place to be, which I say to Sean all the time. Actually, it's my happy place. At night when it's just me, the dogs, and watching TV, I'm always like, Sean, I'm at my happy place. Yep. Um, friends are our chosen family. So really sweet sentiments. Um, which link down below has issues? If you let me know, I will fix it. Um, I tried to use Google Shortener, so it should be uh, that. But if it's my subscribe one, I've been having issues with that, and I will fix that. Thank you for letting me know. I don't want that either. So absolutely, don't click on that, everyone, until I update it. Um, so other good sets, decorative. So decorative is going to be all of those sets that are kind of edgy. This one's kind of fun. It is called Pattern Love, and it just basically gives you a whole bunch of patterns in different sets. I am obsessed with this set. This one here is called Coils and Curls. It's going to be a lot of fun to color. Just look at that camera. They color that with our color pencils. Um, another thing you'll see in our catalog a lot are these things here. RG and it's Richard's Tips. And he gives you a tip on how this card was created and how you can implement it in your craft room, which is pretty huge in my opinion. Some of his tips are absolutely wonderful. The rest of these are items that we've already had before. I don't have this one. I need it. Um, I have the build of building. This is the light bulb set I was talking about. I love this light bulb set. And you did a card with it. I did a card with it, but I gave those two away because it was a fun card. Um, more here. Expressions. I These ones are all going to be expressions. Like they say, uh, we have a lot of the alphabet here with dice. So new alphabet here, outline, solid, even and odds. And then we have some must-have sentiments. I am so excited they came out with this set. You have sentiments like happy retirement, which is kind of a hard sentiment to find. Hello, so proud of you. You did it. Um, 
sending big hugs, thank you, congratulations. So it was a lot of stamps we were missing in the catalog that Richard brought out to say, okay, I know we're missing these. This, in my opinion, is another huge one. Um, this is called In the Family. So of course you have the thank you, hello, I love you, my world's greatest, but you have aunt, uncle, husband, wife, grand sister, grand, uh, grandpa, grandma, cousin, in-law, brother, niece, daughter, son, nephew, family, family, father, mother. I don't know how many times I've made a card that I wanted to say sister-in-law or uh, for my grandfather, and now I can't because I can mix and match these. So this one, to me, is going to be an essential stamp set people will need in their catalog. This I just love. I can't wait to buy this one. So this one is called Sushi Puns. So it's all sushi, which I don't like sushi, but I'm obsessed. Love it. I know you love sushi. I'm obsessed with this stamp set. Um, so you have T-licious, I'm soy into you, rice to meet you. I know a lot of people don't like punny stamps. I'm one of those few people that love them. I love punny stamps. So I can't wait to get this stamp set. I think it's very cute, very fun. Um, so that's another new one. It's probably mine. Yeah. All right. Which brings us to... Expressions is a big category. Um, Artisan, these are just fun designs. You have Build a Hero. So for me, I love the set because I love superheroes. This is going to be a very good masculine set for people. You have Build a Hero here. You have Hero Accessories. So once you build your hero, you have the different masks, the different things. And then over here, you have your basically hero expressions. So all of these would work great together. Um, I love this set, and there's also a bloom box that's going to be coming out uh, along the lines of this, which we'll uh, chat about here in a second. So, very good sets. And then we're just going to go quickly past the older stuff that we had last year. And this really goes to my favorite category. What I probably have the most on is backgrounds. I love backgrounds. You can use it with all sorts of different stuff. You can use it um, with different mediums, ink, our... Uh, you're going to be able to use it with our new gel press. You're going to be able to use it just so many different mediums. So um, the new one this year is called Fringe Wall. I'm going to be honest, I'm not wild about it, but I do like the technique he showed here with the different colors of it going down. Um, but there's a lot of other ones that I am a huge fan of. I love the stripe. I love the gradual dots. Of course, I have all these. These are the artist trading stamps, so they're going to be a smaller one, but give you a lot of options. Um, this is one of my favorite stamps of all time with the sketch circles in the background. Of course, we have the music notes. See how many X's I have in background, Sean? Isn't that crazy? I'm all about the backgrounds. You got lots. Yep. And then we also have uh, the stamp artist trading stamp, which has the stamps. This one, which is the mesh. I do want to get these two or three this year. I love these. I love the cobblestone. This, uh, what do they call this? The starry skies where it gives you all of your starry positions. And then, of course, the world map. So very, very fun ones. Um, another two artist trading style stamps. I just got this one. This one is very unique because it's create a dot. So you have this dot background, but then you have these here, which are your different patterns that you can actually create a completely different background each time. Very cool. This year they're releasing a whole collection of stamps um, in Espanol. This was a huge request, um, you know, uh, so I think this was a very smart idea, and it's basically a whole bunch of stamps in Spanish. So probably nothing for that I would, but I know I have a lot of customers that would get a lot of use out of this category. They're all brand new stamps because it's a brand new category. Um, most of them, as you will note, are going to be all sentiments to go along with our current stamp set. So this was the idea wasn't to create new stamp sets. It was more about getting expressions that can be mixed and matched with the current sets we already have. Journey Days, um, I am not a big planner, I'm not going to lie. There is some cute stamps in here I'll go over, but a lot of the journey stuff, um, like the, the the journey, the planning journals and stuff that are new, um, I'm probably not going to brush up on, but I encourage you to go down and look at the, the link. There is some cool stamps in here. So this stamp set, which is not new, but it's uh, BAM notes. I love it. It's tiny little sayings. Um, important, yay, birthday, BAM. So it's, it is released for a planner, but... I mean, how many times could we use a little sentiment on a card that says stuff like this? Let's go on vacation, um, make, 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 love it. So it's got some great ones. 
uh, just some more planner sketches. I love this set. Now this set, I'm not a planner, but I love a sketch to look like this. So I'll be getting this just to be able to use on cards to highlight things, to put around a nice uh, tag element. Over here is Fiesta Clips, which we already showed you in the Cinco de Mayo, but they also put it back here. This one just kind of gives you stamped elements of washi tape. This one is a must, in my opinion. I'm going to be getting this year. It's not new. It was released last year, but it is Today Is. So today is Make Amazing, Special Day, Let's Gather, um, just amazing sentiments, party time. So even though it's made for your planners, you can use this in all sorts of stuff. There's some great dies here that are supposed to go into a planner, but once again, you could use this on your card. You could thread twine through here. You could thread yarn, tons of different things. Um, this here is Check It, so it's just a Check It. I love the stamps that I bought it last year. It's the Journey emojis. They're just tiny little emojis that you would see on your phone. Um, and yes, everyone asks, we do have the poop emoji, which is right there, if you can see it. Do you see it, Sean? Poop emoji right there? Yes, uh, we do. <laughs> All right, guys. So this year, I'm really excited. I am usually not a washi tape fan, but these collections are amazing. Uh, we have sparkle tape. Let me grab that real quick so you guys can see that. Sparkle tape basically is tape. This was part of our... So, a lot of sparkle. We're not going to lie. Look at that sparkle on there. And then it's sticky. So, uh, it's a little... You don't see it through it like a typical washi tape. Uh, but I know Close to My Heart has their version and stuff, so... I love the sparkle tape. I'm going to be getting the lemon and pool play, which I have. They're also releasing a journey tape rack. So this will give you the ability to store your journey tape. Here's an idea for you. And be able to, uh, that's my biggest thing is storing it. But look at some of these designs. You have Simply Gold, Classic Elegance, Fresh Limeade, Sweet Slice Journey. Look at that with the watermelon, Denim. You have the cool parade. And then we have our returning favorites over here. Um, which I'm not going to lie are not my favorites. The only two I really loved were the three at the bottom. The electrical tape and then the Be Cool Bright Days. But the new designs, I love the new designs. So I'll be getting most of all the washi tape. And then we're going to go into a lot of different um, elements here. This is very cool. This is a die set memory pocket page. Look at that die set. How fun is those dies? So, definitely gonna be getting that. And then this is just kind of like the project, um, I think it's called Project Life, where it's life scrapping. Journey Media, all right guys, this is where I fell in love with it. So, you have this, which is your um, splashes. So this, when you shake it up, you get all the goodness. And it gives your paper a nice sparkle. So you, you have this. Um, we also have the silks. Now this year, um, they always had these, which are the reason I fell in love with the company. These are our silks that you can spray or uh, put onto the backgrounds. But this year, we just released the sparkle silk. So you have these. The sparkle silk, though, here it is. But when I shake it up, look at that. It adds a... What, did, what do I always say? It's a... It adds a... Iridescent look Iridescent almost to it. I love sparkly. the sparkle silk. Yeah. I'm going to be ordering this on like, I'm going to be ordering 10. I put it almost on every single card. I don't know if I have a card showing well, it. Well, your last card that you just Well, gave I just gave away my last honestly. card. <laughs> so I don't think I do. But if you watch me live, you'll see me use it all the time. It's amazing stuff. And then, of course, the silks and reinkers. But this year, da, 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 when we were at CHA, um, Sean and I stepped or stopped at the gel press booth yep. and took classes. And if you guys don't know what it is, it, it's basically a gel uh, template and then you can bray on medium and then use it on backgrounds. We fell in love with this stuff and to the point where I was like, you know, we need to buy this all. Later that day, I did see uh, Richard and, uh, I don't I always call him Potato, but it's Dustin. Richard and Dustin at the booth and they were very intrigued by it too. So in the back of my mind, I was thinking, I hope we release our own version. We actually partnered up with Gel Press. So this way we could get exclusives. So this is an exclusive impression plate. 
and this will work with all of our different mediums. So you have our paint, which I'm going to be buying. This is our, our uh, paint for the gel press. They're huh? acrylics, right? Just yeah, paint. they're acrylic paint. So you have all of these different colors. You have, of course, more colors over here. So I'm going to be getting this entire collection because I'm telling you what, this... The gel press is one of the few things at CHA that Sean was obsessed with even, and he probably did uh, 10 of them. Something like that. And he was like, I am not a crafty person, and you can make amazing, beautiful backgrounds with this. Beautiful backgrounds. Beautiful. You could literally just make it on a large, the larger ones especially, and yeah. you can create very unique just art to hang up. Yeah. So we have the, the heart gel press. You have the regular gel press, the Journey gel press. Um, you can use this with stencils. Um, you can see here we used it with stencils to create backgrounds. You cannot mess this up. I'm not kidding. It, it, if you don't like the messy look, I get it. But for me, this is a must. The entire collection. Also, um, you guys know Pan Pastels. So Pan Pastels released last year. And this was made using Pan Pastels right here. So Pan Pastels, you can put down our clear pigment ink and then put Pan, pan Pastels on it and where your clear pig clear pigment ink will be darker than your background um and i just used it on i used it on this to get the spiderweb background so that's black paper with white um, pan pastels and i also used it on this so this is our um i forget which color cardstock but then i used black pan pastels did clear pigment ink and it picked up all of that as a background stamp. So for background stamps, it's amazing. Tons of different options. These are the collections. You have Party Pop, Rich Sorbets, Confectionary Days, Mother Nature. The ones that are new this year are over here. So you have Limeade Splash, Raspberry Berry, Lemongrass, and Hazelnut Blend. And then you're going to need extra soft tools. At least I do. Maybe I'm too rough with my tools, but this is a must have. Um, I haven't gotten our color pencils yet, but uh, we do have our color pencils, which we do have the watercolor and standard. So you have over here the um, Journey Color Burst, Journey Color Splash. So you have watercolor, which is the splash, and then you have your other standard pencils, which are the burst. These are stencils. These will be huge to use with your gel press. These will just be big time just to use any of your color splashes, color silks, um, just the tools that we're using. These were uh, done last year. These are a lot like people always ask about my sponge daubers. This is where I get them and the actual dauber pads. And I think, did I miss a page? Unless it's back here somewhere. I just want to make sure I don't Oh, no. It's back there. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, tools, though, you guys all have seen me use my Amaze uh, die-cutting machine. This is where all of the accessories are for it. But they're releasing a lot of different dies. So you have the Occasion banners, which is right here. You have a Bloom Creator, which creates blooms. Blooming Detail, Detail Foliage, Star Burst Bloom. You have a Designer Frame. So what's cool about the Designer Frame is you have this here where you can uh, put right down here and use with all your different sentiments. So here's some bloom idea cards for you. Look at that. That's so amazing. You have this bloom and then of course this. So I'll be buying the bloom ones. I love a layer bloom look. We also have uh, the double pocket page, pocket trim. We have love notes and my notes. So just to show you here, those are going to create a card that looks like a heart that folds into each other and then you have my note which will create that right there so a lot of fun dies these are dies that we've had in the past so i won't go into too much detail we have dies background dies so i have i haven't crossed out these yet but i have a, a majority of these the, these are must the cascading hearts and stars are for any collection um we have the lucky clovers so right here those are going to be some dies right down there. Now, all of these dies would be your thin metal dies. Uh, so these would be able to go into most machines. These are the shapes. These are your core journey shapes. So a lot of times when you see me using, uh, for example, this, this is our journey oval with the pierced look around it. So you have all the shapes. The one that we have new this year are the hexagons. And remember, in the beginning of the video, I said that one of the host exclusives is the pierced dies. That's that one there. But these, I almost have the majority of these because these are a must for decoration. All right. 
Um, and then we have steel rule dies. So these are going to be those thicker dies um, that have the foam padding and then the steel rule inside of it. I don't actually buy a lot of steel rule dies. I'm just not a big fan of it. Um, embossing folders. So our embossing folders we released, I love because they're kind of a basic look. You have the Mystic Impressions. You have layered scallops. You have the corrugated cardboard. And then you have the bubble wrap. I love the corrugated cardboard and the bubble wrap. So many different fun things you can do with that. But there is some other ones that you definitely need in your collection, like this one, which I like. The ink splashes and the beach towel are two of my favorite. All right, this takes us. You guys all have seen me use this. Nothing got added to this, but nothing got retired to. This is the punch system where you have your punch and you're able to punch out a variety of different things. So this is a great tool to have. Sorry, I walked away from the camera because I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys real quick. This is a great tool. If you have the small sentiments and you need to, uh, uh, let's say, punch in a, a scalloped and you want your sentiment in the center, you can act easily do that by having, oh, you have to do this. To, I always forget about that part. So basically it just clicks in. I do it the right way. Sean, why, what am I doing wrong here? There it goes, that way. So then it's basically a punch. So if you stamped an image, you could then center it wherever you needed to, and doesn't take a lot of force, and it's an easy punch system. So um, I got almost all of them. I think I did get all of them because I use it all the time for my basic shapes and small sentiments. Um, this is just all of our elements. The things that I love here is going to be our glide system, easy glide system, and then our foam squares. I use our foam squares all the time. These are those uh, how I store my stamps. So a lot of times I'll get asked how I store them. Uh, tools, which nothing got added new here. And then journey color. So this is our entire color collection. So of course this is, this. it gives you a guide of all the colors we have what it's offered in ink pad, reinker, card stocks, silk, splashes, paints, and liquid color. What's that? Liquid color. I am so excited for liquid color. So, liquid color essentially is have fun with our new liquid color. These dye-based liquids are great for coloring, can be used with our new gel press, or explore and create your own techniques. So this will come in initially, these colors that you see here. You also have, how fun is this, create a palette. So you, these basically are divisions that you can put your liquid color and make your own palette of progression left to right. Just look at this, use it with stencils, ink dauber. So I'm excited for the liquid color. I'll probably be getting all the bundle, but also, don't forget, we also have our silks, which are these guys right here, and then our splashes. If you're interested in these, they are much better to buy in the bundle. So, for example, here is the silks, which are my favorite. It is important to note, silks used to be $4.95. They are going up to $5.95. So, if you've been thinking about getting silks until July 1st, wait, yeah, July 1st, you can still get them for the, I believe, $4.95, and then they'll go up to the $5.95 which will, that's why Sparkle Silk's been there. And then of course, color splashes. So if you're interested in these colors, it's important to buy the bundle if you want all of them. You do save some money there. But this page right here is the reason I fell in love with Fun Stamper's Journey. I have all the silks, all the splashes, and soon the liquid colors. Sean's not excited about my liquid color, I can mm -hmm. tell. Um, these are just our regular tools. We have our embossing powders down here, our heat gun here, um, your stamp cleaner, your fusion blend, um, used with reinkers, blending brushes. So basically, this is good for if you're using reinkers, you put a little bit of that on there. And then we, of course, have our printed cardstock. So this is going to bring us to some other fun stuff back here. This, we do have a jewelry collection. I don't wear it, so I don't promote it. My bad. If you're interested, let me know. Um, this brings us to our accessories and fun stuff. So um, some of the things that right away I'm obsessed with, look at this, silver shavings. That is so much fun, and you can use that with our uh, adhesive. We also have, like I said, those fashion silver and gold. So those are going to be um, adhesive back. You get 120 of each of those. And, of course, we always have had our confetti, but look at that right there. Vintage Bursts, how fun is that? 
We have this, which is Sparkling Kisses. Very fun. I'm letting you know, too, there are some beautiful poinsettias coming. Um, so, I don't know when this snuck in. You guys know I love my twine. So, the twine is kind of on here, what you see behind here. This is my twine. And I have all of them, except for, I don't know when, Candy Apple came out. I must have missed that, so I'm going to have to order it. I have the the black and white and licorice. I have the, the gold, the silver, of course, the regular twine and black. I don't know when Candy Apple. I don't know how I missed that. Over here, this is the um, thread. So everyone always asks me the difference. The twine, let me well, grab this is it. Baker, like Baker's twine, right? Yeah, so you have, you have, so this is twine. So twine is definitely uh, a thicker and it holds its shape where your thread feels like Baker's, uh, almost like a Baker's twine, but it's not gonna hold the shape. It's a little bit more, uh, loose. They still have the same concept, but you can see right there with the black twine, it's just a little coarser. I guess that's a good way of saying it, right, Sean? When did you say? Coarser? Yeah. So, wait, wait. Well, I'm trying to get the end for you. Yeah. Here you go. So, this yeah, is... It's got, this has got a different type of weave into it. Yeah, so this is the thread. It's almost like it's got wax. Almost. Yeah, it's it almost not, feels like it. But it's not. So, anyways, that's the difference, but... I still bought all of these because I like having the colors and you can still manipulate it like the twine. We have, of course, new ribbon coming out. We have this beautiful plaid, which is right to there. Um, look at this one. This is called pumpkin patch. Oh, that's going to be used for so many things. Um, we have a special day organza ribbon, rock candy organza. I don't know what organza is. Organza. I'm not fancy sounding. Do I sound fancy? Mm -hmm. All right, this brings us to the bloom box. For those of you who are familiar, Fun Stamper's Journey does have a bloom box. It's a monthly uh, subscription that you get an exclusive stamp set. Then after so many months, the stamp sets are available for people to purchase. So that's why you have this index here. Um, I don't have a copy of it, but the few coming up, there's a comic book one coming up that's absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for it. Then you also have your ATS guide. So because you do get free, so if you have a party, you get like, for example, you can get four artist trading stamps for free. They're normally $7.95, I think, to $8.95. Um, so I collect a lot of them. And actually, a lot of people say, well, it's just a little stamp set. But I end up using these more than my basic stamp sets. So it gives you a guide of which ones you have so you don't reorder it. You have a complete guide in the back of everything in the catalog. And then talks about the bloom box a little bit. That was a lot. Sean, that was a lot. Major. Do you guys have any questions or bring it back up on us, Jonathan, on the products, how to use it, all that good jazz? What's up? So um, the link's down below. I heard there might be a corrupt one. I apologize. I didn't know that. Um, the, I, I do believe it's my subscribe here, but down below there is some forms. If you're interested in becoming a journey coach, fill out that form. There is a special July 1st. Um, the big ones, they're $49, which is the designer kit. It mostly just comes with your starting out of supplies. It doesn't come with like all of the catalogs and order forms because that one's designed for someone that's just joining to get the discount. The next one's going to be the 99 set. This is going to come with more of your ordering, some more uh, elements. Uh, and then the one that's $199 comes with our Amaze machine, which is the one that if you don't already have a, a, a die cutting machine, you'd want that one. Um, so that is that. There's also a link down there about the party. There's the digital version of this. So you can go through the entire thing that I just went through. I know it was kind of shaky at times, but you can go through the digital, start making your list. This launches July 1st, all of this here. Um, so that's when that will launch. Um, there's also a form if you do want the physical catalog. Here's the deal on the physical catalogs. They are $12.95 a piece. We don't get a discount on that. Uh, well, we get a... We don't get them for free is what I'm trying to say. And they're pretty heavy, so they do take some money to ship. Um, most of the time, most people charge us for the catalogs. And the reason why is because it's full of all of the inspiration ideas. But um, I am willing to give past customers of mine a free copy. And if you're really serious about ordering, um, I will also send you a free copy. I just, uh, the first year I did it, I sent out probably 30 copies. It was very expensive and not a lot of orders came in. So I just want to be selective on if you have that. Of course, the digital copy is free for anyone to 
look at down below. And uh, so there's a link down there for you to fill it out because they're not released yet. They won't release until also July 1st. So there's that. And um, if you're ready to shop on July 1st, you can just go straight to my website. But keep in mind, if you are going to have an order of doo -doo -doo -doo, at least 150, you're going to want to do a party. So you're going to want to reach out to me so I can set up a party because even at $150, you get 20 free dollars in products and a free artist trading stamp. And it goes all the way up. And don't forget, this year, it's progressive. So the higher the sales, you get the exclusive items and the bloom benefits. So if you have, let's say, a $150 order that you're ordering for yourself when we do a party, you're going to get three bloom benefits for free. You're going to get one artist trading stamp for free and $20 in free product. So it's very important to do a party. Mm -hmm. So definitely check that out. So that is our inspiration guide. So the other thing is on, will you grab a couple of sets of those? So as, or just grab the stack, just to show them kind of. So as a, someone who does the business, as stamps retire, I don't keep all of the ones that I'm not, that I may not have used or have a need for. So uh, probably around July 5th, posted on my blog, I'm going to be selling a lot of the retired product that I'm no longer going to need. So you're going to want to check out my blog um, on that because look at there. Look at how many stamps. That's just the artist trading stamps. Wait till you guys see how many of the full size stamps. So that will start around July 5th and I'd be one of the first people to get there because they will be at a discounted price, uh, of course. Um, but I do have to wait till they're no longer on the Journey website because obviously I don't want to undercut other coaches out there that uh, might could still sell them. So you're going to want to check out my blog July 5th because I'm going to be selling ones that I no longer need or will be using. So that's very cool. To reach out to me, if you have questions, you can either um, look at social media. So you can go to my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash Ken's Creations page. You can uh, PM me there. If you look up Ken Hess on Facebook, um, you'll see my photo there with my Ken's Creation logo. You can PM me in there. You can email me at Hess, H-E-S-S-K-R at yahoo.com. Um, and then the for two forms down below, if you fill the forms out, that will also go to me. So that's if you're interested in becoming a coach or require a catalog. There you go. So I know this was a long video. I apologize, but I did want to show everyone. Everyone's been asking about the catalog and what comes in it. Um, I'm really excited about this catalog. There's some fun new additions. Uh, so I can't wait to start showing this in my Make It Now Monday. So for those of you who are not aware, I do every Monday a project. We make it uh, live, and I'll be using a lot of Fun Stampers Journey product this year. So, And then if you guys want to order, um, just reach out to me. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this catalog. Sean, do you have any questions? I no. don't think so, no. No. Do you hey. want to become a coach? No. Okay. Are you hungry? I don't know. I'm always hungry. I'm sorry. I was going to have a hot dog before we came down, but... Sometimes life just gets in the way of yes, eating, Sean. That's okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for everyone who joined. I know it was a long video. If you have questions, again, let me know. Definitely look at that digital catalog. You're going to see the best uh, photos there. And when you're ready to order, reach out to me. So... Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. Uh, and we should be back Monday for our Make It Now. We will see Yay. you guys then. Bye. Bye, everyone. We always struggle with the end.